What's up? What's up, guys? Crew Perfect here, and this is Everything West Ham. Where everything we talk about is West Ham. Um, yeah, so there's, there is news surrounding uh, Craig Dawson. Nothing has been confirmed yet. I'm not sure where um, this has come from. I'll, from the sources I know, no one really can put their finger on if it's true or not. But uh, yeah, Craig Dawson apparently wants to leave the club so he can uh, move back up to... Um, where he was basically from, back up north, um, which I'm actually quite surprised if that is true. He's had a hell of a season. The last two seasons, I'll say, he, okay, yeah, he was originally meant to be third third choice. Well, technically, he was actually meant to be fourth choice, but he's, o he's overcome Diop to get that uh, starting place. And he's done well with Old Bonner being out. But, um, yeah, two successful seasons, again in Europe, again, um, I'm not sure why he would want to. Like, obviously, like I said, the family reason was to go back up north. But he, like I said, I, he's probably got two more seasons left in him. That may be with us. The next season he could be with us. The season after he could go. But um, I, I don't want to see him leave. I mean, there's a reason he's called Ballon Dawson. The, the, when we first signed him, yeah, everyone was a bit... Everyone was a bit... Nervy about it. There was there was I mean, there was fifty fifty fans. People like enjoyed it. People didn't like it. But he's he has proved proved his worth. He's uh well like I said he's proved all the the haters why he should still stay. Um, but again, if it is true, I would say he's had a successful season with us. And if he does choose to leave. And for family reasons, then I wish him, I do wish him the best luck, and I'm sure most of the fans will as well. Um, but we move on to transfer news again. Another one I've tried finding from my sources again. With I've seen paper talk constantly, um, that Keen, uh, Lewis Potter, or Potter Lewis, and we've, we've struck a deal with him and his agent, um, 17.5 percent with a 30 percent sell on calls. Apparently not true at all. He is someone we are looking at, but there hasn't there hasn't been a deal secured there. There's been no verbal agreement. There's been no agreement at all. But who knows? In the future, they could we could be striking an agreement with him. Um, and there are three more three more transfer targets. Like I've said, I've said it in previous videos. Two, uh, well. It depends if uh, this team goes down, and I'll start with Leeds. If Leeds go down, I can I can see Calvin Phillips come to us. Technically, that is England's centre midfield. It was at the Euros. Not so much this season because I wouldn't say Phillips has had a bad season on him himself, but Leeds have had a bad season. Um, but if they do go down, I think we could... I wouldn't say peanuts, get him for peanuts, but there's a good... 20 million, 30 million for him. Would I pay that much for a player who's just been relegated? But not really, but of, of there are teams out there who who we could battle it out with. Um, there is another player who I, I actually generally enjoyed watching last season. He uh, already relegated side Watford. Is that Emmanuel Dennis? I like I like his style. He is he's he's a very rough player. When I say rough, like we could we David Moyes is the sort of player who could uh, nurture him into being a key, key, key player for us. Um, like I said, I enjoyed watching him last season. There is something about him where he could win a game. Definitely could win a game, whether he's starting, whether he's off the bench. Um, and he he is in the region of 20 million. And I would I would strike that with him. I would go that with him. Like I said, I've got, I have got another player to talk about, which is Roja from Chelsea. On loan at Southampton, they're asking thirty million. They're both, they are both young, but I don't see why we can't go in for both of them. So technically, that's fifty million. According to the board, we've got one hundred and fifty million. That's not without selling anyone. So fifty million for Brozier, uh, twenty million for um, um, Emmanuel Dennis. I would take that, whether they're starting or whether they're or whether they're. Uh, whether it, it all depends on what Moise's tactics want to be next season. But I can't see it being another season of Antonio being on his own. Whether it, he, I mean, he could be the, the bencher. Because uh, 
Rojar. Plays exactly like him. Strong, powerful, good in the air. He can hold the ball up. He's fast. And he does give defenders problems. Although, yeah, he was in the sides where they struggled. I feel he would be perfect for us if he uh, signed for us. Um, again, we know Yarmolenko is leaving. Ryan Friedrich is who is actually on a high wage. High wage. I'm not sure how much, but there are there are people reports saying that he is on a high wage, and we are looking to get rid. So again, we can up our wage budget there. Yarmolenko, we know is going. Who is on like 120 thousand a week? He, he's leaving again. Adding to the uh, wage budget, Ben Johnson. He, I'm not sure if he. Had, I, I'm positive he's got an option for a year, but I think we want to time down to a five-year deal. I'm not sure what's coming along with that. Um, but yeah, so last game of the season Sunday, we can still get sixth place. Like I've said, I can see Palace getting a result against United. Do you, like I said, I am worried about um, Brighton. There's, there's just something about Brighton's style that I really enjoy under Graham Potter. And I've, I've said it from day one. I can see Graham Potter being a future England manager. But will will he be found out next season with, this, with the tactics he's playing? He could be losing a, a couple of key players. Basuma, for one. Neil Mopay is linked in Arsenal, but I don't know if the Arsenal fans would agree with that. Um, Tarek Lamptey has already been... Um, has, uh, there's been a few scouts at Tarek Lamptey games when he's played for Man City and Man United. But, um, yeah, keep keep tuning. Like I said, there will be a couple... Of, I will still be doing the, uh, the two-player pick from uh, Premier League and Championship side, so I feel would be realistic and would fit into our... Um, how our team and that's my opinions um but yeah everyone please like and share and comment you irons